Great tens, welcome to today's video in which we are now going to be looking at uh, sorting. Okay, so here we have names, surnames, grades, and classes, um, but you can see they all muddled up, and we might want to or need to go and sort these items out. Okay, so you can see I've got name, surname, grade, and class. And if I go up to my home tab and all the way over to editing over here on the right hand side, I've got sort and filter. Now I can sort from A to Z. I can sort from Z to A. I can do a custom sort and I can filter as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to look at those three. So what we have to do first, um, I'm just going to highlight all the names. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to my sort and filter and i'm going to say sort a to z right now it will give you a warning and the reason is because what's happening if i sort the names over here it's going to mess up everything else because the names won't be associated to the surname so they're asking us what do you want to do do you want to expand the selection yes i want to and there you can see it has now sorted all of this according to the names right let's say for argument's sake i want to sort it according to the surname again i go and highlight what i want sorted home tab editing section sort and filter and now i'm going to go sort z to a it's asking me the exact same thing i'm going to click on you know expand selection and then sort and there you can see it's done that again for me okay but let's say we want to do a more in-depth sort so i'm going to highlight everything And then I'm going to go to sort and filter and I'm going to go to custom sort. Now, <clears throat> I can sort things by various attributes. So here I can decide I want to sort it first of all by, let's say, surname. Then I want to sort it. Um, I want to sort on the values. I want to sort on a color. I can decide, you know, sort of what, what I want to do. And I'm going to add another level because once it's sorted by surname, I want it to be sorted by grade and I want to move from the smallest to the largest. Okay. And then I click OK. And what's what's going to happen now is the fact that it everything will be sorted, not just according to the surname, as you can see here, but then also according to the grade. So this is how we can apply a sort. We can apply a, sorry, a custom sort. Just need to highlight that. And you can, again, like I say, go and um, decide what you want to do. You want to put in a font color. You want to put in a cell color. You want to say, you know, no color. Um, some might use an automatic color. Whatever the case may be, you, you have a number of options here. You can delete these as well. Um, but as you make those changes, they will then reflect over here. But that is how we sort our information. I'm just going to do one more going to go through here and I'm going to erase everything I did. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say delete level. Next one deleted and I'm going to begin from scratch because I just want to sort it via the grade. And I'm going to go from largest to smallest. And there you can see it sorted everything according to that. So depending on what they ask you in the paper, this would be how you apply sorting.